Welcome to Bruce's Shorts, I'm Bruce Devlin. Now, the professional media industry has been using file-based interchange since about 2006. And to me, it still seems a little strange that we haven't decided on a common way of labeling the audio so that we know which channel goes where and what language is being spoken. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't really a technology problem. See, there's lots of proprietary ways to associate this information with the media in the file. The most common way is to have a house standard that works in your facility so that everything ties together. And back in the days of tape, this would mean, for example, that you'd find English left on channel 1 and English right on channel 2. And everything's good, except that in the file the channels are numbered 0 and 1, and that actually you still have to cope with surround sound mix to carry clean music and effects, for example. Now, there are two common ways of carrying these 5.1 channels, and probably the most common order is left, right, center, low frequency effects, left surround and right surround. Uh, but actually, sometimes it's left, center, right, uh, LS, RS, and then LFE. Or is it left, right, LS, RS, LFE, and then center? And that's just the problem. Without the metadata, you don't really know the ordering. And that's where the multi-channel audio labeling specification comes in. It's actually underused as a standard, mostly because we're used to wasting lots of money by reordering channels as soon as they come into our facility because... Actually, well, because that's really the way we've always done it. Now, multi-channel audio labeling works at three levels. The channel, the group of channels, and the group of groups. Now, at the channel level, we can mark the audio as left, or right, or mono, or right surround, or LFE, or whatever. At the group level, we can say that this is US English, or Canadian French, and it's stereo, or a 5.1, and it's for a trailer. And at the group of groups level, we can label it as maybe the North American bundle or the European distribution bundle. Now, we don't need any secret knowledge to decode the file. If we want the English stereo mix, then we can inspect the file for metadata and find out which channels go where. The multi-channel audio labeling standard is simply SD377 part 4. Check it out! There's not much plot and the character's development is probably a little weak, but I guarantee it will help you sleep if you read it before bedtime. Ciao for now! Thank you.